first step is to sense and monitor our environment. Here, we have a Raspberry Pi connected to a Sense hat, constantly sending sensor data to a ThingWorks like server. Here we can see that sensor data updating live over time as it sends it to the ThingWorks server. Once this data is at the ThingWorks server, it passes the data on to an MQTT broker, which we can see on this screen. This Raspberry Pi is constantly listening out for any messages relating to temperature coming from that broker. Once that temperature gets below a threshold, this Raspberry Pi will control this fan which is currently turning off. As this temperature increases, this Raspberry Pi will turn this fan back on automatically in order to cool this device. In order to visualize what's happening, we have our ThingWorks mashup, which is essentially a web application on this screen here. The data values will be updating live, and we also have graphs which show the values, say, of temperature on this graph over time. We could have multiple such devices. This is one device sitting here in Melbourne. There could be others, for example, in New Zealand, for which we could see if they were overheating, or in Sydney, for example. This one is in Melbourne, so we'll continue monitoring this one here. The last step of the alerting and visualization process is an augmented reality experience. In order to bring up this experience, we're going to scan a QR code using the Vuforia View app. Now, Vuforia View will prompt us to place our device on a horizontal surface, which we can see here. We can visualize some sensor data as gauges and also be reported as to when the CPU is overheating and when the fan is on. We can get additional information surrounding this device. Here we can see a, a digital twin of our physical device. The fan is cooling this device until it gets below 25.5 and now the fan has turned itself off. The fan has come to a stop because the heating is the cooling is no longer required. Now the temperature will start increasing again. Once the temperature gets above 25.6 degrees in this particular case, this message will come up as CPU overheating. Now the device is overheating, we could send a warning message or an email to someone to notify them of this issue. In this case, this Raspberry Pi will constantly be monitoring this temperature and once it gets over 30 degrees, this fan will turn itself on in order to cool this device. You'll see the fan in the background turning itself on. and the device would now be cooling. If a technician was to investigate this particular issue, they could visualize the cover coming off. We could show them how to remove the sense hat. And here we would be able to see the Broadcom CPU and the ethernet controller are the main points that are overheating on this device. This would prompt the technician to further investigate the issue by looking at simulation models. Here we have performed CFD simulations which show the fan cooling of the device. Here we can see the turbulence being modelled as well. Here we are showing streamlines that correspond to the fan cooling situation.
the case where the PCB is overheating, you can see the scale at 308 degrees Kelvin to 300 degrees Kelvin, and we can see different points on the board overheating, especially the main CPU. Using a similar scale, we've now performed controlled cooling, and you can see that the temperature is not as uneven, and the CPU has cooled down on this PCB.